Right, so we kicked overnight in somebody else's bed in the hope that... That seems very quiet. Let me just pull out a gun. Hang on a second. Oh, no, we've got sound. That's okay. Can I shoot apples off the tree, by the way? Ooh, no. That was always going to be a bit of a long shot, uh, but worth a look. Right. So we need to be able to get back into town where the law were not very happy with me. All the quests I've got now lead back into town. So I've got no option. I have to go there. Uh, I wonder if there's a way of viewing your um, reputation's character. Reputation. Groundbreaker, Iconoclast, Monarch, Sublight, Salvaging, The Board, Deserters, Spacer's Choice. I'm friendly with these, which is nice. Um, how does it, well, it's positive, but negative. How does that, well, let's find out. There we go. <laughs> let's see. Now, this was a corporation, not necessarily the guards, but I did get caught stealing from these guys. You're neutral to this faction. I don't like Spacer's Choice. I don't like everything I've learned about them so far and seen. So, uh, I don't know who the hell these all are, though. Hmm, guns, what have I got? Shotgun, very handy. Sniper rifle, I really like the sniper rifle so far. Oh, and the plasma cannon. Well, plasma rifle. That's a really nice one. This I haven't used in combat, but I'm just looking at it and it looks like it's going to be like massively inaccurate. So, hmm, not too, not too sure we want that. Hey, Ragnus, how's it going? Have we spoken to this person? It's just a worker, just a worker. Right, let's get a quick look. Oh, we can fast travel. I can fast travel into the middle of town. What I'm going to do right now is just save this. <laughs> if I fast travel in there and people are still upset, I'm going to be in trouble. And we're going we're to risk this. Let's see how this works. I might be very quickly loading this game back in. So how's it going, Ragnus? You got the notification from Steam? Cool. That's what I like to see. I, like, I always like to hear where people have seen my notifications for streaming and stuff come from. Um, it just it just helps me plan and uh, lets me know that things are working as they should. I like these like bales of recycled trash. I think that looks quite futuristic and outpost-ish. Let me just have a quick look around. What the hell is this? Are these like, oh, carton. Oh, it's just junk. Tins and stuff. Um, I thought there might be, I thought there might be some junk around the back of here. I'm starting to learn this game already. And learning where they sneakily hide little containers full of stuff to steal. That looks like something I could break into. It isn't. It might just be a toilet output, so I, I should probably be careful with that. It looks like the guards are fine with me. That's such a relief. Right, let, let's get some quests on. Oh, wrong button. Uh, what do we want for that tab? Let's get going. You know you know me like the back of your hand. That's why I usually tell you your first line in chat. <laughs> Cheers. Well, as a as like as a YouTuber, which I've now been for five years, it's always really frustrating when you don't really know how many people have been notified of your video. Or I mean I I, I regularly used to get people coming onto the YouTube channel and saying yeah, you've had like three videos out and I've never heard about any of them. I've never had notifications, even though I'm, I'm signed up, I'm subscribed, I'm following, whatever. Um, and we never know why like YouTube doesn't notify people. And it's kind of the same on Twitch. I, I never know for sure if that's working as it should be. And uh, yeah, it is, it's nice to have that reassurance. So I appreciate that. Cheers. It's hard to grow on YouTube. Um, I find it, I think it's easier to grow on YouTube than on Twitch, personally, from my own experiences. But um, growth is hard when you're starting out. It, it, it helps if you've got something that can give you a leg up somewhere. So we want to... Stranger in a Strange Land. That's not something I can do right now, I think. Um, Ludwig's Secret Weapon. We can do that. That's in the back of the con cantina. He's just got a, a gun tucked away. I don't think I need my machine gun out for going through town. So let's put that away. This is... Oh, no. <laughs> They don't like me in there. What about in here? Do you like me? He likes me. Get him. Is this where I now have to kill everyone in town? Well, the guard wasn't bothered. Well, let's try out this machine gun anyway. 
This is obviously, I'm going to really, this is a nice gun actually. This is an awesome gun. But um, no, that's, that's, that's clearly not going to work. <laughs> uh, where's that putting us back in? Was that my most recent auto save? I wish it had the time stamp for like the time of day on, as in real time. Let's try, I think it's probably that one, but let's try that. Uh, you get up to 500 plus subs in six months and then quit because it felt easy, but you came back a year later, it didn't work so easy, so you quit permanently. It, it is hard. The YouTube algorithm is um, an awkward one and constantly changing and shifting, and it's quite hard to figure out what you should do at any given time. Oh, did I not? I thought I came out of that house before. It was clearly this one. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to sleep till tomorrow. So can I put 24 hours on this? Oh no, all right, that's that's my sleep at the top, right, 12 hours, except, and then we'll do another 12 hours, and then I'm going to try going back to town. So we've given it um, 24 hours from then. Quick save again, and now let's try going back in. I mean, I'm assuming, that's, no, that wasn't the, that wasn't the place I stole from. So I stole from the, t the cannery, and that's where I got caught. So I'm just going to go running back in, except I need to now steal this again. And just, hang on, put the gun away. I come in peace. You think 2016 was easier for YouTube? Uh, they, they have, they, they, they sort of changed so many little things. Um... And let's just see if this works and we'll talk more about this. I think I'm good. I think I'm good here now. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to anyone just in case. Uh, yeah, one thing that they that, that is difficult for me at the moment with my original channel is that the way the algorithm works is that if you change the style of content or the type of videos you're doing um, or, or you do something different that would appeal to a completely different audience, it's really hard to change direction on it. Um, because YouTube then starts putting the new videos out to the original audience. They're not so interested. It assumes that no one's going to be interested in that video. And it then for stops notifying people. Um, oh, there it is. Nice. Ludwig's bundle. And I almost feel like it would have been easy to start a, a, a second or a well, the original channel again doing game reviews and stuff than to change the direction on it like I have, but uh, we'll see. We'll fight it. We'll carry on fighting. Do I want to pick this lock? I don't want to get into trouble, but at the same time, I can't resist picking locks. I like picking locks, and I get XP for it. Oh, it's nice stuff. <laughs> I just got in trouble for stealing, and I'm straight away back at it again. I can't resist. But I think I'm all right, because nobody saw a thing. So we've got the... I think we're good. Excellent. Right, quick save there. And let's take a look at what I've got. Um, there was a new gun. Does anything... Was it just a revolver? 37. I think it was just a revolver, wasn't it? Okay, so nothing special. A patched low pressure helmet. Lockpick plus plus five. Okay. Things like that are gonna be worth holding on to. Handgun. I'm not using handguns, I might as well equip the damn thing straight away. That's a nice piece of um, nice piece of armor there. This lot I need to sort out, decide what I'm keeping and what I'm not. Mods, I'll need to uh, take a look at those at some point. Uh, bypass shunts, okay. Is this, no, these are quest items. Right. Not junk. Let's go hand in another quest then. So the die robot one. I need to return to Ludwig. Do I do that now? What about the last frightened engineer? There was uh, another book somewhere. I need to find Parvati's father. He used to work at the Edgewater Cannery. Maybe I can go and find where that guy lives. Fistful of digits. Where do I go for this? Just here? Oh, this was a, um, a bounty mission, wasn't it? 
Something to report? Yes, I found... Not the medicine. I found the bounty. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Three, please. Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Oh, oh, I got that's funny. I thought I said cartridge. I thought, oh, ammunition, but no, bit cartridges are the, the currency, aren't they? Hand over Doc Mabel. Mabel Burgess, age 37, right or left handed? Let's just say no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. I like her hair. I like the colours. I do like the colours in this game. Here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. That'll Bert do. was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint to ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. Nice. Uh, what's this? Junior Deputy Constable? I've got a badge. You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Former workers? Don't you mean criminals? Or are they one and the same? Hmm. So how did so many of your people end up marauders? Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. <laughs> the corporate line. Um, that doesn't really answer my question. Marauders are folk who lost the will to keep working, wandered out into the wilds and gave into their baser instincts. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Hmm, I don't like it very well. I don't like the company line very much more than... I don't think it's a problem with the character. Yeah, I heard one of your workers shot himself. Eugene, I think. Uh-huh. I recall young Eugene. Good kid. Nice smile. Fussy about his health, though. Took a little too much Adrena time. That'll do a number on your brain matter. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena time. <laughs> legally accounted for. Uh, there's something else I wanted to ask you. What's on your mind? Goodbye. I'm not mentioning the medicine. The medicine is mine. Can I get into these? I, I daren't just press open in case... Um, it doesn't look like it'll upset anyone, but... Just right now, I don't think I'll take the chance. Is there any more bounties? All bounties posted by the Edgewater Constabulary have been authorised. View bounties. Open bounties. Gone. Close bounties. Yeah, all right, that's fine. They don't refresh then. Nope, better not touch that. Sharing is caring. But not medicine. You I have someone to get... Oh, I've got two people I can hand that medicine into. Um, and that's going to give me two different quests. There's like a someone who's potentially a hypochondriac and doesn't need it. And um, is this it? This is it. And someone else who says she's going to share it with the rest of town. I... I feel compelled to give it to the rest of the town. Return to the vicar. Oh, let's do this one. Let's, let's do this one. This might give me a companion. Another day at the cannery. Another day at the cannery. Soul tuner. Where's he? Oh, I've gone past the church a bit. A little bit. I like being able to sprint so fast. That's, that's very handy. Hello, Father Any Max. Any progress on that matter we discussed? I got your book right here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... What? Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? <laughs> I can't fucking read French. <laughs> it's a law-forsaken <laughs> joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want that book to keep others from reading it, you just wanted it for yourself. Well, uh, yes. 
But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. No problem, we can get it translated, I'm sure. Are there multiple species of intelligent life form in this city? I don't think I've come across any other species other than human in this. There's um, some animals. I don't know whether you can call them intelligent, um, but uh, just humans as far as I know. You didn't like your French class? I didn't appreciate having to learn languages when I was at school. Uh, I think they would have come in quite useful if I'd spent a bit more time studying and not fighting against it, though. Um, let's have a look. What do you think the book held the secrets you were looking for? Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Oh dear. And you have it? What's a Philosophist? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Hmm. I can't say I relish the thought of having religious fundamentalists as my uh, companions in this game. Let's see. This has to be some kind of cosmic retribution. Yes, you're right. Such are the workings of the equation. And I've only my own hubris to blame. I certainly never planned for this contingency. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Can you fight? Can you heal? What's in it? For me. Free spiritual counselling, yeah. someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. Eh? Pardon? I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Ah, so will your companions skills come into effect in this so if you can't get past a locked door for example if you had a companion who was good at lock picking does that come into effect that would be really cool if it does hey world of cringe and mobile one kenobi welcome folks a reference to bokanism from uh, vonnegut's cats in the cradle never heard of bokanism before um i didn't tell you you're planning a trip to venus get it out of worlds I'm doing fine, thanks. Thanks for asking. Trip to Venus. Trip to Mars would be nice. Outer, what, total recoil style, that would be good. Let's, let's have a look at this. Part of your vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. Bleeding? Okay, that sounds good. Let's go. How are you guys doing, by the way? Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Okay, so he's not my companion yet, but will be later. I wonder if this whole region here is uh, supposed to be done without companions. Uh, I don't know. So, next quest. Um, is that completed? That one isn't. Die, robot. Uh, the long tomorrow. Turn in the medicine. Let's go do this. I've got two options for this one. And they're both over here. I'm not going to give Something it like to the old guy. I think I'm going to give it to the, uh, the desperate looking young lady. But maybe not when the guard's about to walk past us. Nothing to see here. Move along. Is that like... What's going on? What's the floor doing? Is this like a electrically generated floor or something? I know it's not a glitch in the game. Is it supposed to represent... 
Oh, I see, I see. It's, it's some sort of sparks flying out of that. Well, that makes more sense. I've got some time. I got a medicine you were after. What do you do here, though? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Hmm. I've got that medicine. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Huh. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. You cheeky cow. Intimidate. Um. <laughs> that would be quite mean. Charm. Never? That's harsh. At least leave me something to remember you by. Let's, should we go with the charm? That gets me a skill point. Oh, well, not a skill point. It gives me some XP. Let's go for charm. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Oh, well, that, that works. I got some extra cash for that. Uh, who are you going to give the medicine to? Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? I made the right choice there. I should probably have asked that before I handed it over, but I feel like I've done the right choice there. Uh, she's got great hair. You love girls with short hair, to be honest. Good for you, Ragnus. Hey, Pedro, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I got back into the town. I had to um, I had to sleep for two days before they let me back in. Uh, but I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe now. How's Fallout in space? Strange that this game didn't come with microtransactions because AAA developers need them so much. Cough, cough. Uh, these guys have made a proper game. It's a game that's ready. It's finished. It's not in the process of being, you know, there's no, as far as I know, there's no loads of season passes and deluxe editions and ultra deluxe editions. Um, they just made a great game and they sold it like people used to do in the old days. And boy, is it good. It, it is good. So, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's just, this is just a breath of fresh air after so much of the crap I've played recently. Uh, the Frightened Engineer. Let's do this Frightened Engineer. Is this something in town? I'm searching for a book. It's not. Uh, region. It's not even here. Oh, hang on. I need to go and find out about this guy's father. I'm looking for someone called Pathartis. Now, he's either working at the cannery. Well, he said he used to work at the cannery, so he might be in the graveyard. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to Let me go and see if I can find any clues at the cannery. Oh, I see some loot down there. Oh, not this way. Oh, it's there. How can I get round to that? Not over there. Oh, hang on. It's... Oh, it's a free. It doesn't cost me anything to open that. Nice! Can I jump on it? I'm trying to get a little step up over there. Is the game buggy? No. Nope. No, I've not come across any bugs, any weird glitches or anything so far. Uh, people say there have been a couple of bugs in it. Oh, it's empty. I must have been down there. Uh, nothing I've seen. And generally, from the reviews and what I've heard on Twitter and stuff, uh, no one's no one's mentioned any, any major issues. Not that I've seen, anyway. Um, again, which is uh, a nice change from other companies that shall remain nameless but seem to sell games with more bugs in them, or bugs as features. Oh, it's Indigo. Indigo's back. Hey, sorry, I didn't see you. Didn't see you come in there. Uh, what's going on with Red Dead Redemption 2? Over 24 hours and most can't even launch a game. Is that... Is it buggy? Is it knackered? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, dear. Was it, I mean, what's the problem? Is it the game or itself? Is it the launcher or something? Is that through the Rockstar launcher? Um, I need to find... Could just be someone here. I'm not going to get caught stealing again. I'm not ready to have to run away. I need to find a computer with personnel records on. I think that's what I need. Just straight up broken? That's not good. It was today the release date or yesterday? It was yesterday, wasn't it? Ooh. 
Nice, I'll help myself to that. Um, what we're after. Company notifications. Uh, let's see. Symptoms of infection, blah, blah, blah. Nope, nothing. Nothing in there. I'm looking for a guy who used to work here. Look at that. That's a challenge. That's a climbing challenge, if ever there was one. Who's this? Phyllis Granger? What's on your mind? Do you know? Not Eugene. I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. I found Eugene's teeth. You what? How? Please don't tell me you dug up his corpse. Um... No. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned this. Marauder stole his corpse before Silas had a chance to bury him. They were on Adelaide's desk. Where the hell did I steal them from? Let's do the lie. Merciful law. Why would they do a thing like that? I don't know. Marauders have a discerning palate. That's disgusting. <laughs> I really wish you hadn't told me that. Now I've got that thought lodged in my skull. Look, this is going to sound weird, but... Um, let me guess. I'm well accustomed to weird. Eugene was a good worker who did his best for us. He deserved better, and his remains deserve better. I'm saying I'd like to buy his teeth. Only if it's not too much to ask. I'm not going to sell him. I'm not going to pawn him off. I will. I'll just, I don't know, stick his teeth in an old Spacer's Choice can and leave him in his grave, where they belong. That sounds nice. Deal. I don't, know if I, need, I don't know if I need the teeth for anything. Thanks. I won't forget this. How much cash did I get? <laughs> I can't remember if I was supposed to do anything else with those teeth. Uh, it doesn't matter. You're 12 hours into uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 and no problems? Well, that's good. That's good. Just, I think Indigo's maybe just unlucky. Well, it won't just be Indigo, obviously. You're unlucky. But, um, obviously a, a huge amount of other people are unlucky as well. It does suck that, though. Uh, I have been in that situation before. Where I've bought a game. And I seem to get the one that doesn't work. I actually, I feel like that happens with nearly everything I buy at the moment. I feel like I'm on a really unlucky run of stuff going wrong and me buying stuff, which turns out to be defective. Um, Phyllis Granger. Welcome, Phyllis Granger. From Thompson. Nope. Now, the one I want is... Let me have a look at the quest. The Frightened Engineer. Thomas mentioned one of the volumes belonged to Parvati's father. He used to work at the Edgewater Cannery. Well, he, he says used to work. He's not here now, so... I don't really have a clue as to where to go to find him, either. I thought I'd randomly look around the place. What's this? Logs? Second unscheduled amputation. Oh, I do remember that. Hmm. Let's leave this place. Oh, the, this might be something. Terminal access. Logs. Schedule sick leave. Be considerate. Lost hours. No, I thought that might have like a... Ooh, where's this go? Ah, nice. I've not tried this before. You're switching off before you spoil yourself with this game? No worries, World of Cringe. No problem, I completely understand that, and I do exactly the same. So once you've once you've played through it yourself, though, you'll have to watch my playthrough and see what goes on different. Wow, okay. Don't apologize. Just try using small.